Here we have the Illusion 650. Wonderful Illusion Moser home. I'm going to give you a quick walk around this one and show the differences between this and the 690. Uh, so in brief, the 650 is 6.79 metres long, 2.35 metres wide. Um, it has a slightly different configuration. So from the exterior, I can see that the gas locker now is on the side underneath the uh, kitchenette area for your twin gas bottles that you can stow away in here. Uh, this one compromises with the garage because this is all about the U-shaped uh, lounge area in the back of the cabin. But again, still a very deep, very long, all the way across with the uh, the storage area. Certainly enough to carry uh, all those bits of luggage and uh, um, um, pack away things that you don't want to keep in the habitation area. We'll have a look around on the other side. Very much like the 690. So the only difference is about 20 centimetres in length. Both on Ducatis, both left-hand drives. And as we can see, we have the uh, uh, hookup cable, water inlet, your Dometic cassette toilet, and entrance onto the other side. And again, still very nicely lit up with the LED lights, uh, black alloy wheels, and uh, as I say, beautifully crafted. I'll take you inside to have a look inside. And again, the the same features apply with the uh, uh, door blind net and that we are presented with a, a very nice ambience and very well lit uh, cabin area. So as we can see in here, slightly uh, uh, less area in terms of uh, seating area in the front because that is all now positioned in the back. Swivel seats again, left hand drive, six speed manual with air conditioning. Uh, again, we have the over cab uh, lighting area with two stowaway side cupboards. And we are presented up above uh, with a, a further lighting system with the control panels for two drop down beds on this side. I'll just bring this one down again. So your first of all bed as it comes down. Presented over the cabin. And just fire that one back up. And again, we have the main controls here, the trim and boiler settings, mm -hmm. two additional uh, um, uh, uh, volt sockets, uh, your master control panel. Um, we are again a wonderful sliding door, maximizing space, a lovely LED lit in mirror separate uh, toilet, separate shower and mirrors, skylight and LED lighting, into the kitchen area, presented with a sink, three-way hob, a uh, cupboard underneath with lovely ample amounts of lighting and drawers, a cuttle overhead uh, cabinets with LED lighting, And the same theme with the wonderful large um, 100 litre fridge, cooker, oven. And to the opposite side, we have some more storage for the clothes. Now, at the back of the cabin, we have the U-shaped lounge with table that will drop down into a further bed, as well as up above, we have an additional um, drop down bed that is uh, controlled remotely. Beautifully well lit up with blinds, this lovely faux leather uh, inserts with behind seat cubby holes that are quite deep for plenty of earth storage. Plenty of USB points uh, dotted around the van as plugging all those devices and some additional storage underneath here as well for hiding remotes and purses and wallets. Um, I'll have a show now with this drop down. We 
which comes again with ladder. This one is the double, a much larger living space, uh, very well enclosed with a sky roof, roof light at the top. Back into the front, again, the additional belt, five belts that can be uh, positioned from the side here, two on the back, little seat and further USB points in the front.